Hello YouTubers and welcome to another edition of Conquer All Electrical. Uh, Andrew here, I'm the owner, and today we're going to talk about uh, what size sub panel to put in your workshop or garage. So you have a home uh, and you want to build a standalone garage next to your, your house, uh, maybe run a small business, maybe have an office, maybe have some power tools. Uh, so that's what we're here to talk about today. So uh, the first thing you need to do is look at the main uh, power size or the amperage in your uh, home. So uh, most homes will have 100 or 200 amp. Um, if you have 100 amp and you have a fairly substantial size uh, garage or workshop that you want to power, then maybe you want to look at doing a separate uh, service entrance. Um, that is a possibility. If you have a 200 amp, um, then I don't recommend going any higher than 100 amps out to the garage simply because you need power left over for your house. So typically uh, most sub panels for garages are 60 to 100 amp, 18 to 24 circuit. You can buy those at your local Lowe's or consult with your local electrician uh, to have one of those picked up for you. Uh, if you're going to go with 60 amp, you're going to require piece number six tech cable, three conductor. Um, and if you're going to go with 100 amp, then you're going to need a minimum of a number three uh, copper. Um, it can be quite expensive depending on the, the prices of copper, uh, but they vary. Um, basically, you need, you're going to need to bury that three feet in the ground as well from the house to, to the garage. So determining the size of the panel for the workshop, really, you need to see what you're going to do out there. So, I mean, if you're going to have table saws, and power tools, and and all kinds of woodworking equipment, then you're in a welder, everybody needs a welder, you're, you're going to probably want to go with 100 amps. Um, some welders draw up to 50 amps, it depends on what the brand of the welder is. Um, and, and some hoists, if you want to put a hoist or run a small car garage, uh, they can draw up to 30 amps. Air compressors, air compressors can run up to 30 amps. So, you know, the more power the better, the more circuits the better for a, a sub panel in the workshop. I actually have a chart over on our website, uh, conquerallelectrical.ca. You can click the link at the bottom, like, subscribe to this video, uh, please and thank you. Um, if you wanna go over to, uh, yeah, conquerallelectrical.ca, it's actually what size panel for a workshop. There's a little chart there that'll show you uh, the basic uh, power draw for each uh, power tool, and then you can sort of figure it off of that. Um, but yeah, at least a 60 or 100. Um, and heating source is a big issue too. What kind of heating source are you going to have there? If you're going to have an office in there, um, you're going to heat it electrically. You, those are things that you need to all be careful of. So uh, that's it for today's episode. I uh, hope you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one.